that's just to the side of the vertebrae. So now he's trying to get his hand free. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm going to see where he can go with it. There we go. There's... What? Who's smiling? The feet are nice and free. I've got them by the tail. I'm leaning back a little bit. So it's sort of like a pre-crawl. It's To him, it's more like he's on his belly. Two things that are happening now is the weight of the head and the balance. So you can very easily just do that. But just the same thing as I've said with, with big people. I just, the, the vertebrae right here, the spine, I just stay on one side. Yeah, I know. And notice how I'm, I'm rocking my whole other hand, my left hand, in with the right. I'm purposely allowing his feet to just kick away. I'm also purposely letting him rip this necklace off of me. <laughs> the good baby that he is and should be doing. But it's very easy to see how, even in this position, how you can work on the twist. This, this is this is the church hole. Oh, no, I'm just holding the baby. <laughs> but there you go. See how he can just free up his legs and. These are things to look for. Are the legs startled? Are they stiff? I mean, again, at four months old, you shouldn't have a stiff baby. Now, obviously, if it just got handed to you, they might be like, or if it's in between a nap. I mean, you have to look at the temperament of the child, but it's sort of like if you're dating the guy and he's late the first three times to pick you up, he's going to be late for the rest of his life. I mean, character's character, so that's what you have to look for in movement.